simple books like these generate thousands of dollars for many authors. It's amazing how easy it is to start a profitable business with these books as long as you invest your time making the kind of books that actually sell. But you might be wondering how you can evaluate if the category of books that you choose is good or not. And even more importantly, how to find the books that will become a bestseller. Well, this is where our Katie Spy tool comes to the rescue. And in this tutorial, I will show you how to do it step by step. By the end of this video, you will know whether I recommend using this tool or not. But feel free to explore more about this tool using my special link in the description, which offers a great 65% of discount. But more on that later. To begin, we first need to understand what exactly Katie Spy is. It's a powerful tool designed for authors and self-publishers to analyze book sales and keywords on Amazon. With Katie Spy, you can make a data-driven decision to improve your book's performance on Amazon KDP. Think of Katie Spy as a Google Analytics of Amazon Books, just as Google Analytics helps website owners understand their site's performance and user behavior. Katie Spy helps authors and self publishers analyze book sales, discover profitable niches, track competitors, and optimize their Amazon listing to improve visibility and increase sales. To understand it better, we can take a detailed tour of the tool and examine each of its parts. To start, we can analyze the niche research area and how it works. Once you have purchased your Katie Spy and have it already installed on your computer, we can open the Amazon window. Once in here, we can start searching for the niche in which one we want to start creating our books. Whether they are activity books, coloring books, or storybook, we can search for these ones through keywords. And this is where the help of Katie Spy begins. Once we find the keyword that attracts our attention, we can do the search and open our Katie Spy to get a deeper analysis. What Katie Spy does now is collect all the data related to this niche and specifically to this keyword to make more informed decisions when creating our books. In this central part, we can see more detailed data. In the first section, we see the length of these kind of books. So 160 pages, 144, 41. Next, the price which authors are selling this category of books. So we can see 12, 14, 11, 13, even 8. In the next section, an estimate of number of books sold per month. And in the following section, an estimate of monthly revenue. And the following one, we can see the number of reviews these books have and their sale ranks. From here, we can already make a complete analysis from our data. What I like about using Katie Spy is that in the top section over here, we can see an average of all the data that Katie Spy collects. So we can see a summary of sales over here, the average revenue per month, an average of the price at which these books sell. At the bottom, we can see the total revenue generated by these books. And one of my favorite parts of this tool is the traffic light that help us to find niches where is a lot of potential and popularity. And it will be easy for us to stand out since there is not much competition, which visually makes it easier to understand how well this keyword is performing in this category. So as we can see in this example, the popularity is in orange, which I would say is not a great sign. It says, there are only a small number of books performing well of this keyword. The potential is still in green, which is a good point. And it says, the revenue potential of book under this keyword looks very good. But the competition is the main issue in here. It says, warning, the competition here is very strong. So you can see, even if we get the detailed data on here, it makes it easy for us to understand with this traffic light. So I wouldn't consider this one a very great keyword to start your business on Amazon KDP. Even though we see in the results, it's thousand results for this kind of books, which is a low number. So we can go and search for another type of keyword that will perform better to start the creation of our books. 
So now I already make a deeper research into my keywords and I already find something that it's everything in green. In case that you want to make this process easier and then you want to check which keywords are performing well in a certain niche, Katie Spy also have a section to help us with that. In the section of word cloud, we can see them and keep inspiring ourselves to find keywords that help us to find best sellers. So once I already grab some of the words from my word cloud, what I can also do is go to the results section and I'm going to click in the keyword section. Over here, I'm going to go and put together some of the words that I like from my word cloud. So something like this and I will click in search. And from here, we can start to get also some ideas to start the creation of our books. So of course, I would recommend you to go for the ones that are in green, but you can go and check all of them one by one. The best part is once we have all of this information, we can go and also download it. Just with one click in the export section. Whether you want to analyze or compare your categories, your information will be ready for editing. Besides these incredible tools, Katie Spy now has a new update integrated with ChatGPT. In addition to seeing the best books within the category, you can also make a deeper analysis using these tools. When it comes to a category or niche of books, our Katie Spy tool now has a section of insights. If we go over here, where with the help of ChatGPT prompts, we can understand some aspects in a much deeper way. To start, we have these seven prompts, marketing intelligence report, demographics and psychographics, trend analysis, market problems and questions, market dreams and goals, key success factors for nonfiction, and key success factors for fiction. My favorite ones are the key success factors and the market problems and questions, but you can go and try all of them to understand what are the buyer's needs. The better you solve and understand those problems, the easier it will be to make more sales. So we can go and try out with this prompt. So I'm just gonna go copy, I'm gonna come to my ChatGPT and I can paste it. I'm just gonna let it write. And now our ChatGPT is going to make an introduction. It's going to make our target audience in terms of demographics and psychographics. And over here, it's going to give us the key factors driving success. So inspirational themes, format and structure. And we can see it already gave us five of them. And the best part of this is that also going to give you two innovate book ideas. So over here we have one. And it's going to give us also what it makes it a unique and compelling. And over here, we have the second option. And of course, it's going to give us a roadmap for the next steps. So we don't miss out any detail to start the publishing of our books. But that's only in terms of category or niche. It also gives us more detailed information about specific competitors. And this is where it gets more interesting. So let's say that I want to analyze this competitor deeper inside of this same niche. So what I can do is go to my Katie's Pie. And over here, I can already see the performance of this book in Amazon. So we can see that the price is 11 and 9. We can see that the estimated monthly revenue is going to be 5,000. And the estimated monthly sales are going to be 436. But with this new update, we can go to this section that is called Insights and we will find some other prompts that make it easy for us to understand the success behind these books. It gives us four very powerful prompts where we can explore the book's trends and weaknesses, the discourse analysis, thematic analysis and structural analysis. And we can go and test it on ChatGPT. So I'm just going to go clicking copy and I'm going to come and paste it in my chat GPT. So as you can see over here, it's going to make a very quick introduction again. And we can already see that chat GPT is making a deeper analysis of the strengths of this book. 
so engaging stories, positive messages, illustrations, and over here we can see the weaknesses of it. So repetitive themes, limited diversity, and depth of the stories. We can also see why people buy it, so inspirational content, educational value, and we can also see why they might not buy it. So perceived repetition, lack of diversity, and the best part of it is that it will also give us some suggestions for a competing book. So over here it's going to go and make the suggestions. So the first representation, variety of themes. We can get 10 complete suggestions and start to apply this data into our books in combination of what we already have to get the best of both. It's very important to understand the data that drives success to other authors. And what I like about Katie's Pie is not only shows what books are already working, but also show us in a very detailed way why they are working. I find this very useful when it comes to build a profitable business on Amazon KDP Word. Normally, Katie's Pie costs $197 as a single payment with no extra monthly fees. However, with my exclusive link, you can get a 65 discount, reducing the price to only $69. Plus, they offer a 60-day money-back guarantee, so you can try it risk-free. With a purchase, you can also get full access to a complete course on how to integrate this tool for creating your books on Amazon KDP. No extra cost for any updates and a ROI tracking spreadsheet all included in this price. So if you're looking for a tool to help you analyze book sales and keywords on Amazon to improve your sales, Katie Spy is the best option for you. This ends my review of Katie Spy. I hope this tool works for you as well as it has worked for me. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in another video. Have a nice day.